Hi, this is Jason Yegley, principal of West Branch Middle School, and today is May 1st. And these are the five things that you need to know for this week. Well, I popped outside real quick. It's Sunday. It's uh, in between storms. Um, I love being outside, and I wanted to take a quick advantage of being outside. Um, so, let's get into it. Number one, Teacher Appreciation Week. We're excited to be able to celebrate our teachers. They do so much for our kids. They make such an impact. Um, I have a link in here, and I'm just encouraging you. We have some things set at school just to kind of uh, celebrate the teachers this week, but I have a link maybe for you, if you would like so, to drop a line to a teacher or two that has made an impact um, on your student at the middle school, and just shoot them a quick email, and I'd love for you to do that if you get a chance because we do want to say thanks for you know everything you do for our kids. All right, number two, courtyard cleanup. So I enjoyed working with the uh, student council um, on Friday. We had, we had some parents, we had the student council kids, we had Mrs. Chris, we had Mr. McCrack and Mrs. Herbs. We you know, just had you know, a nice crew and we were able to pick up leaves, um, you know, you know, pull weeds and just generally uh, spruce up the area and it, it, it was a really nice time. So um, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone and I do have a picture um, of uh, most of the people that were there. Um, if you take a look, you'll see that on the side. All right, number three. Number three is about scheduling info. So it is the end of the year and we have to start scheduling, you know, incoming fifth graders, incoming sixth graders, incoming seventh graders. And I wanted to provide info below. So the easy thing is there's not a whole lot of choice in fifth and sixth grade. We kind of have that all set for them. We have a shift in our school year. I'll highlight that in an upcoming episode. Instead of having 10 periods, um, you know, we're more like seven periods. So I'll talk about that. Um, there's a little choice as far as if you want to be in, in choir or band in fifth grade. Um, same as sixth grade too. And then seventh grade, it really opens up on the elective side. So uh, again, I'll have a highlight on what that looks like, but I do have some info below so you can understand that we'll be focusing on that scheduling piece. All right, moving right along. Number four, dress code. So although it doesn't feel like it right now, it's going to get warmer. And when it gets warmer, it seems like people have uh, some dress code issues, such as wearing tank tops, shirts that are midriff, kind of, you know, creeping up and, and it shouldn't be doing that. And really also shorts being too short. Remember, they have to be at fingertip length. Um, I do appreciate you helping us support those standards and making sure that our students are coming to school dressed appropriately so we can take care of you know learning and, and all that good stuff. All right, and number five. Number five is uh, just some of the end of the year activities um, to include the awards assembly on May 31st. It's going to be in the large gym. Um, parents, guardians are all welcome. You have the times listed below um, on this uh, website here. And of course, field day is June 1st, and that'll be from 7.30 to the end of, day, end of the day. We'll have activities outside. Kids will eat lunch inside, but they'll be treated to a Kona ice, um, which is being contributed by our middle school PIE. So a lot going on. Um, looking forward to this week. I do hope it warms up. I haven't looked at the weather yet, but I know it's going to rain a little bit today. We're hoping to get our soccer match in for our middle kids. So um, with that being said, have a great day. And remember, go Warriors.